SVG is live here at NAB 2016 in Las Vegas. Jason Dackman here with broadcast legend Larry Thorpe of Canon. Now, Canon always a huge footprint at NAB, one of the biggest booths at the show, always some exciting stuff. Let's start out with just, you know, what's some of the big news and, and some cool products we're going to see at the booth this year. Okay, something very new and novel, a totally new category of cine lens. We call it compact servo. And then we have a new camera. It's the baby brother of a camera we introduced last year, the very, very high sensitivity uh, multipurpose camera. We have a baby brother that's a super 35 millimeter version of that. And then we're showing uh, not products, but technology in 8K. We're showing lenses, cameras, and reference displays all in 8K, showing our developments in that field. All right, well, let's start with the lenses. I, I know that you love talking about lenses, and I love hearing you talk about lenses, for that matter. So tell me a little bit about the uh, compact servo for the yeah. Cine. This is a new category lens that I think is going to cause some excitement. Uh, it's uh, a recognition that in the world of large format cinematic uh, cameras, there's A, an awful lot of cameras today from many manufacturers, and we're a very broad price range. There's a lot of low-end cameras, HD, 2K, 4K, and uh, we decided that there was a void in terms of lenses that would match them. So we brought out a Cine lens that borrows from our Cine cameras in terms of the tactile feel of the, the manual adjustment of virus focus, uh, et cetera. But we also put in a very compact servo drive for the folks who like television run and gun type shooting. We've made it very, very low cost. This is like $5,500 wow. list. It's an 18 millimeter to 80 with flat aperture across that. It, takes, it could be a variable prime. It uh, comes with an EF mount, so it's able to communicate with any camera that has the EF communication. It has built-in image stabilization. It's 4K capability. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, lens, and I think uh, I invite everybody to come and look at it. Yeah, it should cause a lot of excitement, especially so. for the uh, SVG community. Yeah, Sounds like I a great so. tool there. Very much so. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little 8K. Uh, we are just, uh, I believe, uh, 16 weeks from yesterday is when the Rio Olympics will start. <laughs> uh, so, And we're going to have some 8K down there, of course. Uh, lots of uh, 8K excitement. What are you guys going to be highlighting uh, here at the show 8K-wise? Well, at the show, we're showing our technological developments. Mm -hmm. uh, we're showing the fact that we have been, for almost 10 years, working on 8K lenses, primarily for NHK. Sure. Some of those lenses will be in Rio shooting uh, the, the 8K for uh, for. Um, NHK. We're into our third generation of 8K lenses. We're also showing a camera, fully functional camera. It's built in the Cinema EOS box, but it's a, it's a developmental model. It's not a product, and it's just showing that we are marching our Cinema EOS towards the long-term future, anticipating cinema, which seems to be moving to 5K, 6K, 8K. We'll be there when people are ready for something like 8K. But we're also much more, as much interested in other large venue businesses anyone with large screens high resolution will need 8k production mm -hmm. uh, and I, I would list things like uh, stadium displays uh, digital signage getting bigger and bigger uh, command and control systems uh, museum display system it goes on and on large screen high resolution we think 8k uh, there are many businesses there that we plan to play in in the future Excellent. Well, Larry, we always appreciate it. Make sure to check out Canon's booth at NAB this year. It'll be hard to miss, I'm sure, for plenty of 8K, plenty of very cool lenses. Jason Dackman here from SVG. Stay tuned to sportsvideo.org all week for all the latest news from NAB.